Hello everyone, this is Zayda Qolami from Agrimat Soft Research Lab and in today's video, I'm going to teach you how to enter data in SPSS software. So in the previous videos about SPSS, you learned how to download and install SPSS software. And now we are going to have another, sp uh, another step into this software and that's how to enter your data so if you look closely at your software you can see some cells columns and rows so at this point you can see it's similar to um, excel software you can see the data view and variable view but uh, the difference between SPSS and Excel is that in SPSS you have titles for your columns by default you first you should define your variables in variable view tab in here you should define your var variables and then you can input your data for each variable in data view or you can import uh, import your excel file so let's get along to see how to do it in here i want to have a very simple example for you so that i just can uh, explain the the concepts in here so i want to have the first variable as date in in the name column you simply give the name okay you can see as soon as i type the name and enter you can see the other cells are filled automatically so what are them the first one is type in type you can see by default it's numeric if you click on these three dots in here you go to variable type window numeric comma dot which are used as delimiters scientific notation date dollar custom currency string or restricted numeric in here the date type is in date okay so that's where you define the type of your date so i can i i want you to um select date and then you can use any other format of the date we get into here again in few minutes i click ok for now then you can see the width so you can see you cannot change the width or decimals in the date type but in numeric you can change the width for example, I go for 12 in two decimal places. But in date, it's not like that. Okay? So I click OK and that's it. Then you have the label. So this label is simply a description for your variable. So my label is here is um, same as the name of my variable. And then you have the values so i click on that in here this value column is used when you have a questionnaire and for example you want to categorize the answers to some values for example you say if they select one it means that the gender is male and uh, I know, okay, okay, because the variable type in here is date, so it's it's uh, meaningless. But that's, it. I, I'm explaining the usage, okay? So, for example, if in here I have gender, then I go for type as numeric, I explain why. And then width in decimals, and then in here label is male, I'm sorry male or female okay and then in values i go for one for male and two for female 
that's how it works then you have okay let's get i i do not do this i do not want this gender row so i delete it and i click on each row it's just like excel i click on each row number and then press delete um button in my keyboard so then it's uh, values and then it's missing numbers so what do you want to uh, to be placed for missing numbers discrete mini missing values or range plus one optional discrete missing values so i i do not have any missing values and then you can see the there's other cells which are not that much important columns align and measure so in this measure uh, option you should select a scale ordinal or, or nominal so a scale is used when you have things that are measured so like precipitation like temperature like um the height of the people like the weight of the people like the number of the people in your sample set so in in all these things you have uh, scale measurements then you have ordinal so let's say so a good example for ordinal measurements are the graduation levels so you have um so you have starter then you have let's say intermediate then you have advanced okay so that that was just an example but you can see that's the ordinal measurements and then you have nominal measurements so what are they the nominal uh, measurements are like the eye color like gender like um the name of the city maybe or other things um they they they, they should they should be given a name for the measurements okay so they are not um they are not um, measured they are named okay so in precipitation i have scale and for date spss knows it as excel also okay so um up to this point which i have understood it knows dates as a uh, scale and then i have another variable as temperature so the type in here is also numeric and then the label okay the label for precipitation i forgot and then for temperature and the values are not given missing data we do not have and measure is scale again okay. so that's how you define your variables now you go to data view and you input values for each variable so let's say in here i have the second day of um fifth month of 1990 then i have the precipitation measured as let's say 12 millimeters and temperature measured as 20 centigrade let's say okay so that's how you input data for each uh, variables in each row but the simpler way is to uh, all cases removed okay uh, is to import your excel file uh, excel file if you have it so i have an excel file i'm so much more comfortable with working with excel sheets so i have made an excel sheet uh, and now i want to import it so i go to file and in import data you can see excel um, option i click on excel and then i have this excel file in here i click on that and click ok you can see a preview um shape in here which you can see how uh, are these recognized so i had the so let's get into my excel file this is my excel file you can see i have the titles as i have uh, defined in my variables so date pcp and temperature and then 
I get back to SPSS, you can see read variable names from first row of data is checked by default. Okay, then you can see it's it's correct. So date is in, in its place, PCB is in uh, its place and also the temperature. I click OK. And then you can see my dates, uh, precipitation measurements and temperature measurements are imported to SPSS data view. The only problem in, he in here is that I have measurements for each month of the year. So they are not daily data, they are monthly data. I have sum of precipitation for each month and average of temperature for each month. So they are not daily data. But the problem is in here is that you have the date and also you have the hour. So I do not want that. I get back to variable view and in date type, I click on these three dots in here and I select the type I want. So I have want month and year. So I click OK. I get back to data view and you can see it's corrected now. I can also have the full number for each year. So so let's say I click in here so, so that I have four digits for year. I select that and click OK. Get back to data view and you can see that's 2000 and incomplete uh, digits. Okay. So now I want to have a very simple operation on this data so that you can see how to work with it. My main focus on this video was that how you can input your data to, to SPSS. I have not mentioned all the tips and things. I have just uh, entered the simple and easy way of data. So they are all in, in scale measurements. Um, and, and that's so simple. So I get to graphs. I want to, let's say, I want to draw a graph based on these data. I go to graphs segment. In graph builder, I click on that. Um, gets you a notification. Press OK to define your ch chart. I click OK. And then I have uh, this window in here. So you can see uh, you have some uh, options to choose from. Uh, you have bar charts, line charts, area, pie, or polar, etc. In here, I want, let's say, a scatter plot. Or, or let's say, yeah, I want a line graph. I want a line graph in this one. I drag that to here. I drag and drop it. And then you can see it's so easy. It's, um, in my opinion, it's much easier than Excel. It wants you um, to define your x-axis, y-axis, and filters by dragging and dropping. So that's so easy. My x-axis in here, I want it to be the date. And then my um, y-axis, I want it to be the precipitation. And then you can see there are some other options in here. Element properties, charts, appearance. You can change the uh, colors, etc. And you can have uh, other options. So in element properties, you can see the variable is shown. The statistic, which is the value. You can, ch you can choose to have other um other statistics in your chart so you can have i don't know the the mean or median or etc then you can have the interpolation the type is straight right now yeah i want that one and that said i click ok and then you can see i have a simple graph of my precipitation in uh, this software. So um, that's how you can draw the chart. 
um i guess that's it for today's video i hope you learned something new please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel i will see you in the next videos and bye